You do need a bit of um, a bit of knowledge behind what you're painting in the first place. You have to go out there, you have to see what the fish looks like, what size they are, what scales, what, and, and it's also nice to get a bit of inspiration from fishing because I love fishing and that's where I get my inspiration. So the more fishing I do, the more inspiration I do, the more I paint, the better it gets. Us fishermen go out the way to fool this fish and um, and. Yeah, about 80% of the time that fish is not full, so who's the smart one? So I love trout, beautiful colours, especially brown trout and everything like that. They're very good um, angling species, uh, very good eating. Yeah, I've, I've created a very big uh, niche market for my stuff. It's taken a while, but I've got things together. And lately um, I'm selling paintings almost uh, three, four times a week. Um, the galleries are selling, I'm selling privately, uh, just yeah, it keeps, keeps me busy. I'm painting today um, what, what we call is a brown trout, one of the two species or three species of uh, trout that we find in South Africa. Um, I find it one of the most beautiful paint, uh, trout to, to catch and to very good eating as well. Um, in this painting I basically try to depict the the fly, which we call the woolly bugger, um, and the trout is actually going forward. You're fooling this, this fish into taking your artificial lure. What I'm doing here is basically the final touch on the woolly bugger, which is one of the most popular flies in South Africa to use, especially in olive itself. So I'm just getting the small little flashes, basically the, the glint of light that the fish is going to get um, lured in by.